All right, today we're going to be doing something cool. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit about Elementor e-commerce hosting. All right, with Elementor e-commerce hosting, you get everything you need for your online store and you can just ship it in no time. You do not have to deal with any headaches and you have everything in one place so we have incredible incredible fast store sales optimization enterprise grade security and 24 7 expert service and as you can see the e-commerce hosting plans are catered to every need every one is covered here so if you're interested to simply starting with the e-commerce hosting plan you can go with the cell core and test it out and see if this is something that you would like to continue with so as you can see they're pretty generous in terms of what you are getting as essential for your website and it includes the element element or core which is the free version and you can build your store you can improve your conversion and if you want to read a little bit more in depth about all these add-ons to the plan you can hover over the exclamation point and you will get a tooltip which will show you more or less everything that you need to know so you can have a look over here and you can read to see what is included in each plan. I will leave a link in the description below to this page so you can have a look a little bit more in depth. So let's get started. So this is what I wanted to do for you guys today, but it's a little bit over my head at the moment. And it was quite last moment when I came up with the idea. So I need some time to figure out how to do it. But while I was trying to figure out how to do this, I came up with another idea. And I think it's also very useful. So how to add a 3D model to your page. And I wanted to show you how to add this on sort of a landing page, let's say a product landing page. Okay. So I think this is very useful in that respect and I think it can be very interesting. So these 3D models are not from, 3D, from Spline, but maybe you can add them from Spline as well. I have not tried that yet, but these are from a website. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can just add them to your website and they are interactive and they add that very cool, very interesting effect to a rather boring landing page, better than pictures why not have something interactive right so let's get into it this is how it's looking and as you can see we have this little mouse finger thing uh, that indicates to you that this is a interactive element so if i just drag it like this with my mouse so this is just the movement i'm making with my mouse you can see the 3d model from different angles and look at that how cool is that light hitting the chair it looks like it's coming from either a light that we have somewhere <laughs> here like a reflection from the text i think this is very cool look look at this the light is just absolutely gorgeous i love it and i don't know if i'm easily impressed by this kind of things although i'm a seasoned develop web develop designer by now <laughs> i don't know i am a sucker for 3d elements on websites because look at this it gives this plain hero section that interesting you know oomph to to get to know this chair to get to buy this chair to you know own this chair <laughs> i don't know all right so as you scroll i've added a little bit of um, like effects yeah and a little bit about the chair these are just some random images that i found kind of looking like the chair and then we have our chair again at the end of course you can add more elements to the website to the page this would be a, a landing page about the chair for example i am mid-century seller of furniture yeah and i want to have a landing page specifically for either my business or specifically for a chair that i'm specialized in selling right so how awesome is this i love it and you guys i don't know if you've been watching my channel i hope you have this effect we have done this before, so I am not going to go into it. I am just going to have this downloadable for you. 
It's not yet optimized for mobile because I did not have time for that. But you can have a look at how things have been built and just copy and paste whatever you need from here. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start building this uh, slowly, slowly or fast, fast. <laughs> so let's get to it, right? Already. So first things first, we are going to be adding a container to this page and I'm going to just go and have my container be placed on the page. Full width, remember always full width, okay? 100 VH and I am going to publish this. I like to publish after every single thing that I do almost because so many times it happened that I lost a big chunk of what I was doing. Anyway, this is just a little wisdom nugget <laughs> for you. <laughs> All right, another thing that I'm gonna do because this is also important, I'm gonna have the direction of this container to be column vertical. All right. And I'm going to add another container in here. And this container will hold our headings that we have on the page. And this is going to be full width. And I am going to set this to be, uh, oops, sorry, here, um, 85VH. We're going to leave a little bit of space here at the bottom for something else. And I am going to add a heading in here. I really love to use headings instead of the text editor because I feel it like it's somehow a little bit more versatile. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And I'm going to set this to be white and also um, custom percentage 100% and I am going to give it a big size and it's going to be around 50 I would say 16 REM and I am going to say the chair of your dreams. As simple as that. I mean, only this I think is going to sell it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so far so good. Let me just give this a style. I have a custom font here and I'm going to use this one. I kind of like it for this effect because look at this. Beautiful are um serpentine <laughs> line all right so we are good on that and we are i'm gonna add another uh heading i'm gonna duplicate it uh, but it's not gonna be an h1 it's gonna be a p and this is going to be our text okay and of course it's not gonna be this big around one point I think 1.2 here should do it and the line height is 1.2 this is my magic line height size that i like to use i'm going to change the custom uh, width to be um around 15 i think it's the right width in my case and move this to the end so we have a very nice flow of um visually basically obviously you're gonna read first this text and then this text okay on the page but it has, has a very nice flow to it all right so i think my heading here is a bit too too small 16.6 is the original so <laughs> let's have another look yeah so as you can see it's obviously it changes the way it looks on the page so you can play around with that but keep also in mind that the the font that you use changes the way this looks that was very silly to explain, but um, yeah, it's not going to look this way, obviously. All right, so let's add our 3D model because that's why you're here, right? So in the same container, I'm going to be adding an HTML uh, tag or widget. Yeah, so I'm going to have my model sit in here. All right, so I'm going to just drop it in here. All right, and it's here at the bottom. And if you're wondering where this, where is this located in on my website, I actually have it in the media library uh, in my website. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to show you where it is. And let's go to media and it's exactly this file here. So this is the ending, the format of the file. Okay. It's .glb. So 
I have not tried with a different kind of format, this is what it's supposed to be. It seems like I did not know this before. Anyway, it's pretty big. I don't know if you um, resize it and compress it, how it's going to look on the front end. Again, I have not tried that, but it's something to keep in mind. Or you can fit this from a third party like Vistia or AWS or something else or Vimeo. I don't know if you can do that with Vimeo, but you can have this there and you just gra grab your um, URL source and you just add it in here. As simple as that, okay? And if you don't want any of these um, elements, you can delete them. But I really like the camera controls. The camera controls is the effect that you have as you grab the um model and you play with it on the page and you move it and you turn it that's the point of it right but if you think like this is something that you don't want then delete it the same with auto rotate and i have disabled the zoom because uh, sometimes whenever i was scrolling the page uh the page uh the the model would zoom out and it would become way too big and then i added a style with 100 percent and height 100 vh and yeah that's what we have i will move it to the top but for now i mean even this i think it's pretty cool let me just add something to this container maybe i'm gonna change the look of it in the end uh as we go yeah so where is my thing ah it went there I have to put it here let's see what we did i think this is a little bit too simplistic but it's also minimal and has that secretive thing yeah about it so as you scroll you already see the chair i think this is cool as well but what we are going to be doing we are going to be moving the chair at the top and I'm going to go to advanced and change the position to absolute. And I'm going to save it just in case. So I am going to change the horizontal orientation to percentage. And also the vertical orientation to percentage. And this is going to be minus one. And it's not showing, but it's a very easy fix. Okay, we are going to have to change the default width to 100%. And there you go it's already there so let's just have a look and you have to wait a little bit for yeah and there you go how cool is this i don't know but i simply love this all right so i'm gonna copy and paste all the other effects on the page so we can have a fully grown page to scroll. So I'm going to add the title here, the title, the, the nice heading that is saying something about um, the elegance of the furniture. Then we have the very nice images that kind of flip on top of each other. So I'm going to paste it right here. Yeah. And the last bit, basically introducing or saying goodbye to the visitor and of course i have my html that has all my gsub code so as you can see we have first of all code for this effect then code for this effect i think that is it so i have merged the codes uh in one obviously and not to make a mess of it and it's obviously much better to have everything in one place, okay? And I put them in the order they appear on the page. I think it's easier to manage that way and I think it's also probably the best practice. So this is the code for the effect in this container, yeah? And I will show you again how this effect works. And then we have the second code that is creating these effects for us, yeah? So pretty easy, pretty simple, just like that. I will publish and uh, let's have a look all right so this is our chair okay and uh, it needs uh, like a second as it loads the page to have this happen okay so that happens and this is happening and of course these effects are so much better with lenny's 
and if uh, your old code Lenis does not work I have kind of managed to find a fix to it for now I hope it works in the future if not I will try to fix it because I really love Lenis and I cannot have a website go out in the world <laughs> without lettuce honestly i have no words for that so there you go and of course you could have another model chair here but i couldn't find another one that was nice um as i was working on this but how cool is this i think it's really really cool and of course you can make it so much nicer and more interesting maybe change the color of the background obviously have more call to action for example have something here to call to get in touch or something like that um yeah i know this is an issue here for example i know that the the words are breaking in a weird way i'm trying to fix it i tried to fix it before this video but i couldn't i had no time but I will try to figure out because this effect is amazing and I really, really want to use it on a project, but I'm trying to find a fix to it. Anyway, so yeah. How cool. How, how cool. And I will have a link to this JSON file in the description below. I hope it helps you to see how things are built, kind of. Let me know in the description below if you have any questions. That was my dog trying to bark. Anyway, so yeah. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.